So after D6, two, we already have a list of genes that's either uh, that's overexpressed in either of these conditions. So now we want to look into the gene list and to see uh, which of these biological pathways are these genes actually in. So there are two ways. Uh, the David takes the selected list of differential expressed genes and sees if there are genes in the certain gene sets that are already expressed, where GC takes all the genes and use the test statistics. So uh, for both of these, we need to have a good definition of the gene sets. And David has its own gene set definition. Uh, GC, we need to provide one by ourselves. So as uh, MSIGDB will be a good one that's been commonly used uh, to provide to GC. So we're going to do a very small uh, uh, tutorial on the David. So first, you just you already have a list of genes that's uh, differentially expressed, like here, uh, and then you click on uh, you click on choose file and this list of genes here. Um, and then you select the identifier, which is this original one. You don't need to do anything on it. And you click on gene set and you submit the gene, uh, the list. You submit the list and then you put homo sapien, which is this. So 9606 uh, homo sapien. And you submit to the conversion tool. Uh, it's going to take some time for conversion. This is the one that I already converted. So I just select this uh, converted uh, Gene, uh, gene list and select the specimen. And um, we do the functional annotation and this is the result we get from it. So basically uh, after this annotation, you can, uh, after this cluster annotation, you can just download this file. Uh, you can analyze on other platform. So GC is another way to do this uh, gene list analysis. Um, uh, so in GC analysis, you need to ranking all the genes in the data set and you're identifying the rank position of all members of the gene set in the ranked data sets. Um, calculating the arrangement scores that represents the difference between the observed ranking and uh, which will be expected assuming a random rank distribution. So first you have you already have the differential a differentially expressed gene list, and then you need to take the rank. Uh, you need to take only the you can you can use this as a uh, as a criteria or you can use other things um, that's a modification of this but uh, here we're using the log for change you take only log for change as the rank and uh, you give the rank the same name as the, the gene list you got um, and uh, you store the rank uh, from positive to negative so the positive genes are those that has like a most differentially uh, expressed in the first pheno uh, phenotype, and the negative genes are the genes that's uh, genes that's um, part that that's overexpressed in the in the phenotype two, just second phenotype. And then uh, you're going you're going to uh, import some uh, low sum um, uh, gene list as saying here that you will require um, you will uh, not here wait oh yeah right here. That you'll need to have a good definition for gene sets. So you're, uh, we're going to provide you uh, with the PEGG uh, gene sets. So you can just load it and uh, pass it in here, and uh, you have your ranks here, uh, and you run the F FGC, and you'll get something like this. So this is like, um, so from this we can see the hallmarks oxidative phosphor phosphorylation uh, has a. Uh, has a enrichment score of 0 0.5, which is positive. So it's uh, enriched in the first phenotype. Um, and uh, if we look, if, if we plot it out, we can see something like this. So this um, this top point uh, is actually the enrichment score. Um, and the leading edge is a subset of gene sets. Um, that's a subset of member that contribute most to the enrichment score. Uh, for the positive enrichment score, the leading edge subset is the set of member that appears in the prior to the peak score. Uh, or for a negative enrichment score, it is the set of member that appears subsequent to the peak score. Uh, and the bottom portion uh, of the plot shows the value of the ranking matrix as you move down the list of the rank genes. Um, the ranking matrix measures a gene's correlation with the phenotype. Uh, the value of the ranking metric 
uh, goes from positive to negative as you move down the rank, rank list. A positive value uh, indicated correlation with the first phenotype and the negative value indicated the correlation with the second phenotype. Uh, sometimes you have, you're going to have a continuous phenotype. So the positive value indicates uh, correlation and the negative indicates no correlation. But here we're only, we only have two uh, phenotypes. So it's not continuous, it's just showing uh, either it's uh, in, uh, enriched in the first phenotype or the second phenotype. So, and this GC is not required for undergrads. Uh, but if you guys are interested, you can just Google online. There is a lot of tutorials on this. Um, I, I think it's really useful and I think you guys should uh, take some time to look into it. Uh, yeah, so basically this is it for today's material. Uh, if you have any question, uh, feel free to um, ask me.